I grew up watching Andy Griffith and Andy's sidekick, Barney Fife, uh, was known to say this phrase, nip it, nip it in the bud. And what he meant by that was to, he says we are to deal swiftly with whatever issue is coming up and if it's not dealt with quickly, while it's still a bud, then it will produce a fruit that is more difficult than ever to deal with. Dealing swiftly, especially when it comes to our anger. Ephesians 4 reminds us that we are to deal very swiftly with anger because if we don't, there are some prices to pay. For example, undealt with anger leads to resentment. Resentment leads to bitterness, bitterness to hostility, hostility, strife. I mean, these are all cousins to anger that, that we don't want to live with at any day of our life. Do I wrestle with anger? Do I justify my anger as being righteous? Is my anger really sinful anger? Um, do I hold grudges against someone? If so, that's not what Jesus does. Jesus forgives, Jesus restores, Jesus does rebuke, and Jesus does punish. Uh, but he does not hold grudges. Uh, what about your, your relationships with other people at work, at home, here at church? Are there, are there unresolved issues there? Are there walls that are being built up and each day, day that goes by another brick is put there? This is certainly not the heart of God toward his children, nor should it be the heart of his children toward his children. Uh, take a moment today and, and, and survey your relationships. What forgiveness needs to be de demonstrated? Is anger leading to more harmful and detrimental um, episodes in your relationships? Is it you who needs to give and deal with your anger? Um, we must pray that God will send us personal revival. And, and oftentimes our own angers and resentments and bitterness between us and someone else, oftentimes that's a blockade that quenches the Spirit of God. It grieves God. And when that takes place, revival doesn't occur. As we come near the end of these days of introspection, let's, let's take anger and let's crucify him on the cross and find the victory that Jesus has given us.